So in this clip, I'm going to be talking about this little thing, which is called a potentiometer. It has a knob and three little pins. Let's label those pins A, B, and C. And so how a potentiometer works is it's got these three pins, A, B, C, and between A and B is a resistive coating. And C sticks into this resistive coating and can swing back and forth. So what this means, if we unroll it into a circuit diagram, so get A on the top, B on the bottom, and then C, which moves up and down. And this leads us to the circuit diagram for the potentiometer, which looks like that. Now, the one thing that we know for sure is that resistance between A and B is always going to be the same. And if you look at the diagram, you can see that that resistance is going to be the sum of two resistances formed between A and C and C and B. So that's the potentiometer. Now let's go see if it actually works. So here we have a multimeter, breadboard, and a potentiometer. We go ahead and put the potentiometer in the breadboard, and the pins going from top to bottom, A, C, and B. So first, we're going to measure the resistance between A and B which we know from the diagram is going to be the same no matter where the knob is turned, which in the case of this pot is about 980 ohms. What happens if we measure the resistance between A and C? Well, it went all the way down to zero ohms. And that's because A right now is sitting right about on top of C, so there's almost no resistive material between them. If we then turn the knob, C will move from A to B, causing there to be more resistive material between A and C, and the resistance to go up to the maximum of the potentiometer, which is 980 ohms. Turning the knob in the other direction will cause C to move towards A and the resistance to go down. Measuring the resistance between C and B will yield the same results as A and C, except that the direction of the knob inverted.